Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Emmanuel Rodriguez versus Raymart Caballo. The fight's almost here. Fight's almost here. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. Please. It helps with the video. It helps with the channel. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, they recently had their wins. Both Rodriguez and Caballo made weight. Weighing in below the 118 pound weight limit with both fighters weighing in at 117.6 pounds. As you guys can see, both fighters look like they're in pretty damn good shape in my opinion. Pretty damn good shape. They'll be fighting over at the Mohegan Sun Arena, Mohegan Sun uh, Casino in Uncasville here in the United States of America. And uh, yeah, fight will be shown live on Showtime. So tune into Showtime if you want to see this fight. Obviously, it's being overshadowed by the big event. Canelo versus Calum Smith on the zone, but uh, I'll, I'll try to watch both fights. You know, watch one on my phone, watch one on my TV. You know, that's how I do it. That's how I do it. Because I'm excited for this fight. I really am. I'm very excited for this fight. I'm very excited to see Raymart Caballo as a Filipino fight fan. I want to see Raymart Caballo go out there and pull off and bring a title back to the Philippines, the motherland. And, um, you know, become world champion eventually. I know it's for the interim title, if you guys didn't know. Interim title on the line, not, le not the actual legitimate belt, but... You know, it's one step closer to the legit belt, right? So, um, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, both fighters look like they're in great shape. Uh, both fighters hasn't fought in basically a year. And, uh, you know, it should be good. My gut feeling tells me Raymart got this. Uh, I hope he got it. I don't, I don't know, man. Like I said in my prediction video, maybe it's just wishful thinking. But, you know, I, I, I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling that Raymart will come out victorious. Um, yeah, my prediction video made it not long ago, but you know, some of you guys commented. Uh, Yay DL, I probably the judge if I'm mispronouncing, you know, say, says I got Rodriguez in this fight, he's a proven fighter and had more time to prepare. Yeah, that's true, but I, I feel like I feel like you know, Gabalo has been on standby just in case. I feel like so. I think Gabalo has been training at least in camp just to staying in shape just in case. So, um, well, actually, Rodriguez is also a replacement. If you guys didn't know, he he replaced Nordino Bali, so he too was on standby. So maybe I guess those were the two standby fighters, Caballo and Rodriguez. They were the both standby fighters just in case Donaire or Nordino Bali uh, are not available. So here they are fighting each other instead for the interim title. Uh, not Roy Jones Jr. said, "I'm disappointed that they still didn't let him fight despite testing negative, but at least it's a good step." Up fight for Gabalo. He's talking about uh, Nonito Donaire. If you guys didn't know, Nonito Donaire uh, supposedly tested positive, but he wanted to prove that he actually didn't, and he was still ready to fight Rodriguez for the title. But uh, for some reason, they didn't allow Donaire back into this fight, and now Gabalo will be fighting uh, Rodriguez. Xavier Gutierrez said Rodriguez by UD. Gabalo had one hell one and a half week to prepare for this fight. Plus, Rodriguez is an elite fighter. Like I said, man, I feel like I feel like uh, they they were on standby, so I feel like they have been in the gym, just training, keeping in shape, and it's just a matter of uh, tactics at this point, in my opinion. Uh, Papi Chino said, "Gabal is a highly touted prospect from the Philippines. We never had a prospect like that. He was literally bred to box from a young age. Rodriguez might be on a shock. I don't know. I, it, it will be interesting. I I hope so. I hope so. I really want." Gabalo to win. I think Gabalo could be the next big one from the Philippines. I mean, he has what it takes, man. He has what it takes. 24 years old, still very young. You know, hopefully he's not one of, uh, what, are, what are the name of those brothers in, from the Philippines that got knocked out? Boxer. F shit, I forgot his name. You know what I'm talking about, right? The Pagara brothers. You know, you know Albert Pagara. I hope he's not you know, he's definitely not Albert Pagara. That's for sure. Definitely not. But Gabal is a much, much more, in my opinion, a much better fighter, boxer, than the Pagara brothers. So anyway, right now, honestly, it's freaking four in the morning. I, I'm just, I just want to see this fight. I want to go to bed, wake up in the afternoon, and watch this event. Because there's a lot of fights going on today 
today, the 19th, because it's 4 a.m. in the un, un 19th Saturday. I'm sleepy, man. I, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. I want to go to bed. So enjoy your day. Please again, don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.